Hi, everybody. Um, ages ago, I asked you to reflect a little bit on the coordinate system in our interactive Google map. Uh, one of the things I was really trying to get you to notice uh, with loose instructions is what's happening to the scale as we pan around the map. Uh, one thing you could do to kind of get a sense for uh, the coordinate system is to zoom out to the global extent and kind of see the distortion. Look at the size of Greenland, for example, relative to Africa, and what's going on down here in Antarctica. Um, if you noticed in the coordinate system module, uh, interactive maps like this, um, web maps, uh, your Google Maps, um, open street maps, they all use a coordinate system called uh, Web Mercator. Um, it's specifically a Mercator projection. This is a classic projection used in uh, maritime uh, sailing um, because north is always up no matter where you are on the map and the angles are preserved. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. But uh, the other thing to think about here is looking at the map. Here the scale bar it might be small on your screen says 500 miles from here to here. If I do no zooming but just pan straight north, notice that it's expanding right now and then it just jumped down and now it's showing 200 miles and it's going to spread out. So why as I pan straight north is 200 miles wider on the map? Now it's going to jump down again because it's kind of getting too, too, too wide of a marker. Now we're talking about 100 miles is now the same distance as it was 200 miles further south. Panning north, look how wide 100 miles is, and it's gonna jump down. And now that same distance on the map is only 50 miles. So we're not changing the scale of the map, we're not zooming, but the scale is changing. And why is one question. So hopefully from the readings in the module, you notice that there are some coordinate systems that display the lines of longitude as parallel lines. And so this is the Web Mercator um, coordinate system as it displays at the global scale. And you can see that the areas at the very north and south are unusable because of the uh, distortion. The lines of longitude should be converging. And so the distance between them is getting narrower and narrower. But when we display it on a map like this, they look like they're equidistant, but they're not. And that's why the scale bar is changing the scale and the, the distance is getting smaller and smaller, even though the look of the map isn't changing at all because it, it just is wider. These are parallel lines. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the wiki page. There are a couple other helpful images here, I think that uh, illustrate this a little bit. Um, the one that I like is here. We know this from flying, right, that a curved line on the map can also display as a straight line depending on what coordinate system we're displaying the map in. So here from, uh, I guess we're going from Havana, Cuba to Portugal. Um, here we've got curved lines. These are the great circle or, you know, on a globe, what would represent a straight line. But when we look at it in a Mercator projection, the blue line straightens out and that's that's the beauty of a Mercator projection is we can map things and use correct angles um, because the proportions between the latitude and longitudes are being preserved. But the way the map displays the areas and sizes and distances are greatly exaggerated as we get away from the equator. So the take home message here is that it's really important to use Mercator type projections in interactive maps because north is always going to display up um, and the scale bar can change. Um, we're not really using interactive maps to do a lot of global things. We tend to be looking at smaller areas and then we can use the adjusting scale bar to get a, you know, a true sense of scale if we were lacking that. But north is always going to remain up. Um, the distortion that we see becomes really um, obvious, I think, when we're looking at large areas, but it isn't as obvious 
um, when we're zoomed in a little bit, especially if we're utilizing our scale bar. But it's when we compare things like Greenland to Africa that we can really see that distortion. The problem with these maps, and the second take home is, don't use, sorry, Web Mercator projections to make calculations of area and distance. So Arc Pro allows us to make um, geodesic distance and area calculations now, and that's what you should use, because then we're taking the true kind of curved surface of the Earth, and we're not dealing with these kinds of distortions. But if you were to calculate the area of Greenland in the Web Mercator coordinate system, you would get an area that blows Africa out of the water, right? I mean, it's absolutely enormous, and it's going to calculate the true size of the maps version of Greenland, not the actual physical size of Greenland. So using projections and projected coordinate systems in ARC is really important to understand if you're gonna use planar measurements because that utilizes the projection and the projected coordinate system that you're displaying your map in. If you use the geodetic or geodesic calculations, you're gonna be okay for area and distance because they ignore the projection and they just use um, you know, the curved globe, basically. Okay, that was the take home for that assignment. And hopefully, um, reading through them, at least a lot of you, you know, got into the interactive map and noticed that the scale bar is changing, that this is an interactive feature. Um, and you should know that you can do that really easily in um, ArcGIS Pro when you insert a scale bar um, actually, I'm just going to attach a video that I've already sent to many of you, but you can set the scale bar to um, expand as you zoom in and out on the map by setting the value that you want the scale bar to measure. Okay, that's it. Thanks.